Welcome back to Big Hub the Nerd and today's episode of the One Season Wonder is we're back with Villa. Back for games in October. Southampton and Brighton today's opponents, a home game and an away game. Southampton is at third currently. Brighton 15th and we are in 10th. Since we left you, uh, we actually drew with United, end up losing on penalties. El Ghazi missed his penalty uh, and United then go on and go through in the Carabao Cup against us. Good game though. We had a 0-0 draw against Sheffield United. Couldn't score. Didn't play too bad, but we were okay. And then we got absolutely destroyed by Tottenham. Tottenham, who we had gone top, I think, from that. Just this, they scored two goals in the last two minutes. So it was 2-1 for a while. After we gave a penalty, it was like, oh, this is no good for us. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of gave in 89, 90th minute just to make it look even worse than it actually was. Um, so that wasn't great. But we are sat 10th. We're doing well so far, I think. Eight games played, three wins, one draw, four losses, 10 points. Norwich, Sheffield United and Watford in the drop zone on four. So we're six points away from that at the moment. Six points away from the top, from uh, Europe. Six points away from um, relegation. So we're nicely balanced. So if we get into today's game then, I accidentally started already. So uh, here we are in the match screen. Uh, this is the team we're going to go out with. We've got a, a, essentially a full strength team. Uh, Douglas Louise in for uh, the, inter he was out on inter -duty, international duty. Uh, marvellous, Mr. Marvellous himself. Going against... A Southampton side here, five at the back, or a 3-2-3-2, two, two, right? Good team, but not very different. We've got to watch out for these strikers. There's two strikers up top, always causes us issues. But Southampton have been playing very, very well. So let's go for our common lads, show what we can do. The morale is starting to drop, so I've got to start being nice. Go for the faith, try and win them round, but we are at home. We tend to play well at home. Can we carry on? Can we carry on in this form? I don't want to tweak anything here. I don't feel like the formation has let us down yet. But if we uh, if we start to go on a little spiral, we'll have to make some changes. Bertrand now forward. Ings is there. Heads back. That's fine. Chester into McGuinn. Grealish. Wesley. Nicely played through. Trezeguet touch. Oh, gun with the save. Oh, good bit of play there. Trezeguet, I tell you, very, very good for us. Grealish. In goes the ball. Engels back post heads over. Okay, we're looking. We're looking fresh. I like it. We've started bright. We've started with the ball. Can't complain yet. Douglas Luiz now. He's a bit more of a, a flair. He's more of a Segunda Volante than he is a ball winning midfielder. So he adds a little bit more when he comes in, but I still want him playing that ball winning midfielder role. Getting the ball back for us. McGuinn now. Luiz. All the way out to Trezeguet, who does win the ball. He wins it for himself. Oh, he's, yes. He's run through. He's shot. It's been saved, and he puts it in. Trezeguet to Trezeguet to Trezeguet, who then puts it away. Trezeguet's sixth goal of the season. Douglas Luiz, a nice little ball. That's that flair I was talking about. He heads it down to himself. Goes right through on goal. Gun makes a save, and then he slides it in past Gun again. 1-0, six minutes in. Lovely job. Two shots on target. One goal. That man, Trezeguet, is so good. El Ghazi now. Oh, free kick hits the wall. Ah, back inside to no one. Could have been a chance there. They've gone long. Cedric, he's against three defenders, although they've got man free in the middle. Adams has got time. He's brought it down. He's out wide, though. Good block. Great block. Bertrand. Trezeguet clears. Grealish has picked it up. Can we kick off our own counter? Bam. Out to El Ghazi. Ins oh. El Ghazi sometimes. Sometimes lets me down a little bit. Valero. Oh, Vestergaard. He scored. Heaton with the first save, but drops it back in front of Vestergaard. He puts it away. 1 1 just before half time. Pooh. We should have really cleared that, though, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Vestergaard. Look, the save comes out. Why do our defenders not react? Come on. Half time. All square. Let's go for a unlucky boys. Things have been going okay, but you could do better. And then we're going we're gonna to individually just call out a few people. Not happy. Good. Getting fired up. Let's go. Target into Trezeguet. Can we start straight away? Douglas Luiz into Grealish. Let's go. McGuinn all the way up to Guibert. So we brought the, the fullbacks back to defend because it helps. Um, on the standard tactic, we had them on. We put them on support, but I feel like I moved them back to defend. Now maybe I need them on support again just to help break down. Grealish is at 6.5. Target 6.5. Chest is at 6.5. We've got a short free kick uh, corner here. Sorry. Target in. Vestergaard clears. Go for a little demand more. McGuinn. Trezeguet. 
Batman Trezeguet, again, getting us out of the shit. Seventh goal of the season, two goals today, both goals for us today. Puts us ahead against Southampton. Greedish as well to look up. Lays it into Gwyn, and Gwyn goes, bam! Trezeguet, near post, beats the goalie. Absolutely smashing it. Greenish now, another corner in, just straight in. Oh, Engels, yes! Douglas Luiz gets in, gets his first goal of the season. Engels was just on his own in front of that goalie. How he didn't score, I don't know. But then Douglas Luiz comes in, bam! Wait, well, he didn't head it, did he? Kicked it. But I'm excited either way. 3 1 up, double goal. Engels there, should have scored. And Douglas Luiz pounces on it. Nice. Right, McGuinn is a little tired. We'll get him off. Get Connor Hurahan on, just because he's down at 70%. Get some fresh legs. In the midfield, in that box to box roll. Valero again. Last minute of the game. Chester clear. Stevens brings it down. Back out to Valero. Goes out to Vestergaard. Stevens, if they don't shoot now, they've got no time. We are overtime ref. There we go. Full time whistle. Aston Villa three. Southampton one. Trezeguet played out of his mind. Loved it. Excellent play. Very pleased with the performance and the result. Trezeguet POM. Love it. Two goals, 25 year old ringer. Just absolutely superb. Absolutely superb. Ninth in the Premier League. Nine games, four wins, four losses, one little draw, 13 points now. Stretching away from Norwich, Watford, and Sheffield United, who are down there. And it's interesting to see Watford down there. That's what's happening in real life. They're struggling big time. So we've got Brighton in seven days. I'll see you back for Brighton. That ends out October as we come towards the busy Christmas period. Look at that Christmas month for us. Man City, Chelsea, Man United, and Liverpool in December. When we get out of December, we'll know where we're going to be for the season. Okay, we are back for the Brighton game, away game this time. Uh, going back to the full strength team, Tyrone Mings back in on the left. He was out for the last game. Nakamba back in as well. Even though Luis had a really good game, back to Nakamba. Just a bit of defensive uh, strength in there. Uh, El Ghazi, Grealish, Trezeguet, and Wesley staying up top as well. Trezeguet absolutely smashing it. Seven goals so far this season. Good to see Wesley though. Five goals and three. So when we played these formations before, we had weaker strikers. Never really got the goals out of them. But Wesley, five goals, three assists. Good to see there. El Ghazi with the four assists. Two goals. Uh, so the only person let me down really, Grealish. One goal, no assists. Even McGuinn's got two goals, one assist. Ming's got three assists in there. Gilbert's not had that much on. But then he wouldn't have as much because he's got less with, a, with a two guys in front of him. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder whether we need to do anything with Mr. Grealish. Maybe we flick up his role slightly. So at the moment, he's attacking midfielder, right? Fashion out chances for himself and the rest of the team. Maybe we make him a playmaker. We don't actually have a playmaker. Do we? We've got box to box, a ball and midfielder, wingers inside forwards. Let's make Grealish a playmaker, see if that helps him. Because if he can start kicking on as well, well, then we're golden. So they've lined up with a 4 2 3 1. It's kind of a 4 2 3 1, just slightly wonky. Uh, who we got to watch out for? Corossa is very good uh, when he's in there. But no one really screaming out as being like, this person's going to screw us, is it? So uh, let's go in. Let's do the faith. There we go. Get the morale up. We're winning games, guys. Why is the morale not higher? Playing in our second kit. Is that third kit? It's funny because this kit looks very much like the West Ham third kit this year. The game is underway. Away to Brighton. It's Quadero is in. Gilbert coming forward now. Grealish. Nakamba into El Ghazi. McGuinn. Oh, a long shot for McGuinn. Ryan with a save. Grealish. Nicely done. In goes the ball. Oh, Duffy clears. McGuinn's picked up. Edge of the box. Inside to Engels. McGuinn. Chester. There we go. Gilbert. Or Gilbert. El Ghazi hits the first man again. He loves doing it. Okay, we're keeping the pressure on though. I like it. Montoya now coming forward. Brighton making their way inside. Edge of the box. A foul is gone for VAR. It's usually a free kick. Please let it be a free kick. No. Oh, it's a pen. It came back as a pen. I didn't even click. Damn. We're 1-0 down because we've given away a penalty. That never comes in as a penalty. It's always a free kick on the edge of the box. Damn it. So, uh, yeah, we go 1-0 down to Brighton because we've given away a penalty. Let's just give them a little demand more. Kick them back in. That's what they've had. One shot and it's a penalty. It's a free goal. Bissouma coming forward now. Brighton coming. It's Cordero. Oh my God. Chester. El Gauzy. Bissouma. There we go. Bong. Oh, oh God. Half time. 
One nil down because of the down penalty. Let's go in for an assertive. Show me something else. Second half. Getting fired up. Don't get stressed. Uh, I'm very happy with the performance. He looks more stressed. Okay. Uh, Wesley, you've not played that well. I'm not happy. Okay. I've angered uh, Bjorn. Uh, calm. I need you to calm down. Now you're angry. Okay. Calm. I need you to calm down. It's confusing to motivate. Okay. I've screwed the whole thing by doing too many team talks. Great. Trezeguet coming forward now. Come on, get... Oh, Grosser brings him down. Referee, want to do something about that? No. No, he says, let me get away with it. Fair enough. El Ghazi, long free kick this time. Oh, he's got a few of them. Nakamba. Go across, yes. Engels. Oh, yes. Great ball. Trezeguet behind the line. Wesley, yes, boys. Come on, that play was spectacular. Big ball out to Trezeguet, showing he doesn't just score. He can also cross. Engels looks up here. Look at this ball from Engels. Center back goes. Ashe, it's done. Puts it behind the defender. Trezeguet, first time touch. Wesley on the head. Doosh. Proper striker. Old school striker, Wesley there. McGuinn. Oh, just over. 60 minutes on the clock. Free kick goes over the bar. Can we get a second goal? El Ghazi not playing well. Do we get him off? Do we have a right midfielder? Jota, what are you though? You're left footed. We've got two inside forwards. We're going for two inside forwards. Uh, oh, okay, and we'll put in... Ah, annoyingly, we get, I can't really put in Konza because he's not really a right back. And Gulliver will have way more space now. Let's leave him on for a bit. He'll have so much more space with there being two inside forwards. Let's go for a demand more. There we go. He comes out and heads it to them. Great. Maybe we need to get him off because he's playing shit, though. Sugar. Malpay. Oh, good save, Heaton. Okay, still not playing well. 74 minutes on the clock. Let's get on Konza. Um, that's two subs. Do we want anyone else off? McGuinn's a little tired. No. He's got some nerves. So we'll... We'll push it. Ah, there we go. A uh, little push forward. Mings inside. Wesley's still got it. He's got it. Oh, Trezeguet's got it. Grealish! Oh, Jack! It fell to him in the box. All he had to do was put it in the net. Mings now. Ball goes in. Grealish has picked it up. He's... Got another chance. He's gone over. Jack. See, there's me thinking Jack Greenish was going to be the, the star man of this team. We haven't really found his place yet, have we? Grossa clears out to Trossard. It's 10 minutes to go. It's 1-1. One, one. They could easily sneak something else here if we don't close him down. Close him down. Good slide. Great slide in the end. Second great. No, bad slide. Second slide. Second slide was bad. Oh, God. Corner. Grossa. Clear. Oh, he's missed a clear, but... Bernard has... Oh, good. He'll be shoved. No, it's going to be it. Two minutes left of added time. It's 1-1. One, one. We're taking people down in the corner, apparently. Nakamba. Is he on... Oh, he's going to get sent off for two minutes to go. Ref, really? Two minutes to go? He is. He's going to send him off. He's sending him off with two minutes to go. It makes no sense. Drop him back. Oh, last. Don't let him score from this as well. Don't. That'd be a kick in the teeth. Conza clears. Oh, Chester clears. Trossard, long shot. Oh, you absolute dickheads. With 15 seconds to go, we get a red card and letting a goal. Oh, football manager. I hate this game sometimes, man. Oh, look how many of them are offside as well. Blocking the goalie's view, no. Don't want that as an offside. Blocking the goalie's view, ref, no. Cool. Just want to screw me over. So we're going to lose to Brighton. We gave him a penalty, and then we have got sent off and gave him a goal, essentially, right at the very end. Grealish is playing like a bag of shit. Oh, that is a kick in the testicles. I actually didn't think they'd score. Oh, I can't go aggressive. I'm going to have to go with a calm, unlucky boys. Oh, I really want to shout at them, because they really let us down there. Ah, losing late is hard. Bloody stupid game, Macambo. You can have a. Oh, I have to issue a warning because of the stupid yellow card, red card problem. Right, we're down to eleventh though. After those two games, ten games played, thirteen points. We need to stay ahead on points. Then we do games. That is the key to getting towards the forty as quick as possible. And we will be back. So we have got Bournemouth, Everton, Watford. We might actually we'll skip November. I think we'll come back for. Oh my god. Should we come back for Leicester Chelsea right in the middle of December? Or we come back earlier? Okay, maybe Man City Wolves. Let's really put ourselves under the cosh and play Man City. Man City Wolves. 
and then we might do United Liverpool, but that would be <laughs> that would be painful. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on there. We've got Crystal Palace. We've got Burnley coming up. We've got some good games. So we finished the season with Liverpool, Man United as well. Yikes. So we need to be set before that comes around. Anyway, I'll decide what the next game's going to be. And I'll see you back for the next episode. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you're ready and subscribed for when FM20 drops. We've got some big saves coming to YouTube. It's all planned out. We know what we're doing. Beta save with Real Madrid. We're going to do a quick uh, save with them. Get used to the game. See some of the new features. We'll also be dropping some walkthrough guides uh, and some uh, tips and tricks and stuff for uh, FM for FM20. Much like we did last game, not this game. So there's a lot to come. Make sure you get yourself subscribed because you don't want to miss it. And I'll see you back next time. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.